In this video, we're going to focus on solving word problems that utilize proportions and are proportional, and we're going to use the cross product strategy to solve them. So before we begin, I need to stress that this particular strategy only works for a proportional situations. So you have to think of situations or read a word problem and decide, is this a situation where a proportion would apply? So if we read through here, it says a jet travels 440 miles in five hours. How far can it travel in 12 hours? Now, I know that this is proportional because the jet is going to be going the same speed the whole time. Its miles and its number of hours are a ratio that if we were to simplify it down completely, they would simplify to the same value. So here it says a jet travels 440 miles in five hours. We're going to write two ratios with the same units in the numerator and the denominator. So it doesn't matter how you write them, it just matters that you're consistent. So here I'm going to say, well, I traveled 440 miles in five hours. And in this ratio, I don't know how far I traveled, so I'm just going to call that a variable value. I called it x. And we're going to figure out, okay, how far can we travel in 12 hours? So we write two ratios using the same unit. So you see 440 miles over 5 hours, and that should be proportional to a certain number of miles over 12 hours, since we're all traveling the same speed. And once we've written our two ratios, we set these two ratios equal to form a proportion, because this is a proportional situation. Now, here's where we utilize the cross product strategy, because it's a really quick way to figure out that missing variable piece. We can figure out how many miles we could actually travel in 12 hours. So we're going to multiply numerator times denominator equals numerator times other denominator. And then from here, we're going to solve. So here we're going to take 440 times 12. So that gives us 5,280. And that equals 5x. We then need to get the x alone, so we divide both sides by 5. So that gives me x equals about 1,056 miles. And if I look at that, if I realistically think about it, if I'm tra traveling 440 miles in 5 hours, you multiply that by a little bit over 2, that 440, and 1,056 miles for 12 hours makes sense. All right, so example 2, we read through this, and it says a recipe calls for 2 thirds cup of butter and yields 18 cookies. How much butter is needed for 42 cookies? Now again, I know that baking is proportional. If I were to bake, I would take a smaller recipe and multiply everything by a consistent number to help me get the number of cookies that I want. So I know proportions apply when we're dealing with recipes. So here I'm going to make two ratios. The first one is 2 thirds cup butter. And that will yield 18 cookies. And then I'm trying to figure out how much butter is needed. So I'm going to just call that x. And I need to know, okay, x cups of butter that are needed for 42 cookies. So I made my two ratios and I set them equal to form a proportion. Then from here I apply the cross product. So numerator times other denominator. So I have 2 thirds times 42 is equal to numerator times other denominator, so we have 18 times x. So here, yeah, this isn't the best problem in the world, but it's a solvable problem. So 2 times the 42 in the numerators, that gives us 84 over 3 times 1 is 3. And that equals, here I see, 18x. And then from here, I need to then move forward and divide both sides by 18 to get the x alone. Now, I recognize this looks a little nasty, but it's really not. So we have 84 thirds divided by 18 is equal to x. 
You should know how to work with your fractions at this point. So I have 84 over 3, and I do keep, switch, flip. So then I have 84 over 54, which then from here, if I simplify my fraction, I find 42 over 27. So that's a little better. I divided both of those by 2. Then because these numbers got a little smaller, I know that 42 is divisible by 3 and 27 is divisible by 3. 42 divisible by 3 is 14, 27 is 9. So as a result, what I find is my final answer is saying that I would need 14 ninths cups of butter, which I know this isn't an ideal situation, but we can actually convert this to be 14 would be 1 and 5 ninths cups of butter. So again, utilizing proportions makes this a little bit easier to solve. We can think it through, we can set up a proportion, and then from there use the cross product to solve. Third and final problem, Nielsen's is having a produce sale this week. You can buy three pineapples for $5. If the school lunchroom at Baldwin Woodville High School needs to purchase 25 pineapples for lunch this week, how much will they cost? So again, cost is something that is proportional. I know that the amount I pay per pineapple will be the same, so I know that I can set up a proportion in this situation to help me. So you can buy three pineapples for $5. So I have three pineapples for $5. And the school lunchroom needs 25 pineapples but doesn't know the cost. So there we're able to set up a proportion and then from here we can utilize the cross product to help us solve. So we will have 3 times x equals 5 times 25 which then 3 times x equals 125 divide both sides by 3 and we ultimately get an x value that is equal to 125 over 3, which if you use your calculator and divide out, is $41.67 in order for the high school to purchase those 25 pineapples.